Is Morgote here in Ticino really the most beautiful village of Switzerland? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geomographic. I'm now in Ticino, which is the southernmost part of Switzerland. If you like anything about traveling and culture, then you're right on this channel here, so you're most welcome to subscribe. Also, don't forget to activate the notification bell, so you'll be informed for every new upload. Right now, I'm standing in Morcote, which is claimed to be the most beautiful village here in Switzerland. But is it really true? Let's go and find it out together. I just arrived here in Morcote and I do have to say it's already very impressive. The promenade by the lake is really beautiful. The village is very serene and it's also very vividly. A really beautiful mix that I very much enjoy. The village charms with its many houses and cafes as well as with its surrounding panorama of Lake Lugano and the mountains behind it. Although one may think that Morcote is all about this promenade, I can ensure there's a lot more to discover in here. Once you enter these narrow alleys, you will feel like being in a village somewhere around Lake Como in northern Italy. As Morcote is built on a hill, one may guess that there are a lot of amazing lookouts. It's quite a way up there, however, the higher you reach, the more impressive the view gets. <sighs> Finally, I made it up here. It's definitely very much worth the effort because the view up here is just phenomenal. What is really great about the lookouts at Morcote Hill is that from every spot you will get a different impression that are stunning all together. After that I suggest you again go down and then pay a visit to the church. Another fantastic lookout point here by the church, it's really amazing. And you should actually go inside. The church itself is very, very beautiful. The Maria del Sasso is one of the important pilgrimage places for Catholics here in Ticino. This church is not to be confused with the more famous Madonna del Sasso, which is standing in Locarno. The interior is very beautiful, it's built in a Renaissance Baroque style, and you can see a lot of frescoes. Because of its beauty and unique location at the hill, the church is considered to be one of the top places to visit in Morcote. Before you again go down to the village, I suggest you go to the nearby monumental cemetery. It's that impressive that it's considered a cultural heritage that is under protection. After that, it's time to again go down to the village and for that I recommend you to take the path of the cross. So far, I definitely can say that this village is very alluring. Some people actually claim that this is the most beautiful village of Switzerland. Well, I think this is probably true. Myself, I'm from Switzerland and I'm totally amazed about this place. So just imagine how it's going to be for you. After being back to the village, it's time to explore the world of foodie. And here I suggest you first go to this place. If you're here in Ticino, definitely you should have a gelato, especially here in Morcote on a sunny day. I think there's no better way to enjoy this place. There are a couple of great dining options that you should try out here in Morcote. For example, the Hotel Pizzeria della Posta. Over there, I had a very good dinner. And then also this restaurant here. The cuisine is very good. For example, I had this plate of seafood. It was really delicious. And of course, you should also try out this dessert here. I'm now having zabaione, which is a very common dessert in Italian and Swiss Italian cuisine. It's very similar to tetelur. I know many of my followers are from Indonesia and Malaysia, so you probably may know this speciality from Western Sumatra. But the main difference here is that zabaione doesn't contain duck egg, instead the egg is from chicken, and it's alcoholic, it contains wine. One of the very top attractions to visit in Morcote is the Parco Cero. It's a botanical garden where you'll be taken through the different parts of the world. 
you're not only going to see plenty of different plants, but also a lot of relics from various cultures. This botanical garden not only provides you a lot of surprises, you're also getting fantastic views and all in all, it's just very serene in here. Well, there is only one thing I can say about this place and that is that it's very beautiful. I just really love this garden so much. You have so many different elements from all over the world. You have a Buddha, you have Chinese characters, you have Roman and Greek goddesses. Yeah, it's really amazing. I really love the concept. And then on this side here, you have this very beautiful house. It's really amazing. And actually the interior is even more stunning. However, today this house is closed, but who knows, if you come here, you may be more lucky. And now let's recapitulate. Morcote's location couldn't be any more unique. It lays at wonderful Lake Lugano. It's surrounded by mountains. The village itself is very alluring. There is a wonderful church that proudly stands at the hill. From so many different spots you can get fantastic views. You have an amazing botanical garden. And well, you have really friendly locals who are very welcoming to tourists. Because of all of this, I definitely can say Morgote is really the most beautiful village of Switzerland. We've reached the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment, share it to your friends, they would be really awesome. If you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, then you're most welcome to do that now. I very much appreciate that. So that's it from my side, we're going to see each other very soon.